And we're on. Hey everybody, this is Invisible Ring. I'm back in my signature outfit. And back in Pop Tropica. Things have been going wild in Pop Tropica lately, and one might even say Goofy. But that's why I'm off to play Goofball Island. What better way to celebrate this goofiness? This is it. Goofball Island. Someone is blindifying the goofy citizens of Goofball Island. Only you can return to Abnormal. I love Abnormal, so I consider this mission critical. People sure do strange things on Goofball Island. What did this device look like? It looked like a woozy what's it, I tell you. Absolutely a woozy what's it. And they fit the description. Great surgeon outfit, burning eyes, the works. They were the very definition of boring. Dr. Blanston has struck again. Island Quest, the Blanston case. Dr. Blanston is turning Goofball Island Bland. Help save the island. I accept the challenge to help Detective Graham. Where were you the night of, well, a half hour ago? Uh, not here. Are you accusing me of, do I look bland to you? Do you really want me to answer that? You're obviously not from this island. I could use your help. Search this building for clues and come back to me once you've found something. This looks like green... I mean, this looks like a good snapshot material. There we go. Actually, I think I do look a little bland and goofy. I'm half color, half black and white, just like the island. What are the odds? Hey, did you see the doctor? Yeah, they zapped the color right out of the building. Can you describe them? How can you describe someone so boring? They look like anybody. He's got a point there. I've lost track of how many boring people I've seen long ago. <laughs> I like that. Security. Ooh. I like those street lights. Goofball Island established 1647. Whoa! There, there, we'll get you back to your weirdo self soon. He's just so boring now. And I don't think he likes it. If I were him, I might look kinda like that too. Who else is up there? about what happened? The doctor stood in the mayor's office when they activated the device. I think they dropped something. The mayor's office, huh? Parks have grass. Makes about as much sense as trees are made of wood. Please tell me you have something Anything useful to the investigation? The investigation, you say? 
I don't know that. I'm a modest, ordinary tree. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Tell me something. Have you ever felt like somebody else? Have you ever come back from the days and weren't sure where the time went? Where were you then? If you were there, wouldn't you recall? If you weren't there in your days, who was? Who were you then? Hmm. Those are some very good questions. I don't know the answers, but maybe I'll find out later. Whoa! Xavier, that's one of Amelia's friends. Cruzy Club matchbook. And a broken place. This thing is broken, but a book of matches Crazy Club sounds like a lead. I should show this to Detective Graham. Those ties look just like the ties from the clown store counterfeit. What's in this book? A Brief History of Goofball Island by Grey Bird. Dedicated to my mind? For on this island, with each passing day, I find I've lost more of it. <laughs> wow. TLDR, whatever that means. Because most inhabitants left on this island would sooner eat their own socks than read a book. A temple founded in 1647 by Emperor Thirsty Flame III would not become known as Goofball Island until officially discovered by the Adventurers League in 1976. The discoverer, Xavier Pendragon, was quoted at the time saying, might as well be called Goofball Island. Contrary to popular notions, this island has never been entirely goofy, however it has grown increasingly so. With each passing year, more of the island's past has lost, lost to the maniac, I mean manic minds of the population. Wow. Huh. Must be an architect. Drafting board and everything. I'm looking for information on Dr. Blanston. Not much to say. They came in, and now everything is in order. Makes my job a lot easier. You like being bland? Oh yes, I'm a city planner, and now everything makes sense. Yesterday, we were making room for an underwater taco restaurant. Now it's going to be an above water library. Underwater taco restaurant. I actually like that idea. Looks like I'm in an old movie here. Emperor Thirsty Flame the Third. Thirsty Flame. Name of the winner of the Dream Island contest. Hang in there. Really interesting pop artist, that Lichtenstein. He was born near Pelican Rock, you know. Pelican Rock is home to another famous painter, too. By the way, Van Nostrand. Van Nostrand's locked up there, but not the thief in the movie. Anyway, what was I? Oh yes, Lichtenstein. He painted the flying girl. No idea who Lichtenstein is. Saw the painting once in real life when I was in second grade, or maybe it was third grade. We went on a field trip to another island to go to the art museum there. There are art museums. Timmy Jenkins put gun and speedy runners here while we were on the bus. There were 
art museums in Pop Tropica, but they're gone now. Old Patty bus driver who had worked for the school district for about 10 years got real upset. How long is she going to keep talking? Hold the whole bus over and gave it to me a real talking to? I remember. Blah, blah. Okay, I'm out of here. That's all I can stand. I can't stand no more. Well, nobody else here, thank goodness. Better talk to the detective. If I had my mystery train detective outfit still, I'd say, This game is afoot! Anywho. Well, well, kid. Looks like there's a detective in you after all. The Crazy Club. You know, if half the people on this island weren't already crazy, that'd be the first place I would look. From here on out, we should split up. I need you to collect four remaining thumbprints for my case file. Start with the mayor and the guy upstairs, then visit me at the dreary building in Dullsville. Room 7, I'll buzz you in at the door. See you later, Detective Graham. Detective works thirsty work. Good thing I've got some water. I need to get your thumbprint, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I see. Lucky for you, I'm all thumbs. Thank you. On to the next one. I don't want to talk to that blabber again. Wait, who am I even talking to? Better check my items and see. Okay. Blanston file. Detective anagram. Anagram! Cool. Thumbprint. Signature, summary, blah blah. Perp going by Dr. Blanston, Blandifying Island, Average Height Surgeon Outfit. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Six foot with a hat, 90 pounds, an incompetent nincompoop. What's he hiding under that hat? As we well know, most villains do wear hats. A hat that size, that's some kind of evil. Maybe he has a cat in his hat, like the cat in the hat. Jumpy spinner. Good. Not the boring blabbermouth. 4.2 feet, 100 pounds. Curiously pleased with now being bland. Can't say I blame him. Claims the island is better off dull and sensible. Something about math and sciences. Boring. Not compared to the lady down below him. He's not. Bosco Oxub. 8.4 feet, 400 pounds. Nice, a little too nice. How could he possibly meet the doctor's description when he's so big? Well, that's exactly what he'd want you to think. I guess. Yikes! Bobby Bill. 3.9 feet, 75 pounds. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there is something deeply unsettling about this guy. Alibi is pretty tight. Almost never leaves the club. Oh, I like that picture. Invisible ring. One moment, please. An alarm clock is going off somewhere in this half bland, half goofy room. Let me go find it and turn it off. Where are you, alarm clock? Something doopy going on here. Must be in this filing cabinet. One moment while I root through it, please.
the alarm clocks off. Back to what I was doing. Case file, and I'm down to mine. There I am. Invisible ring, 4.3 feet, 350 pounds. <laughs> Golly, who weighs that much? Not me. An off islander just here couldn't have been responsible for previous incidents, should be of some help in solving the case. Great. Well, Looks like I got them all. Now to get the jumpy spinner. Well, if I really am 350 pounds here in Pop Tropica, I'd say I get along pretty fast for the weight I'm in. Sir, I need your thumbprint for the investigation. Very sensible. I suspect me too. I very much look forward to the whole island being orderly. However, before I comply, I want to make sure you have this island's best interest in mind. If you're going to help this island, you should know even the simplest facts about it. When was it founded? 1600s. Very close. 1647. The island wasn't always goofy, but its inhabitants have largely forgotten that fact. Who founded it? Um, Emperor Thirsty Flame. Yes, they united the island, but the native people date as far back as a thousand years before them. Final question, who discovered the island? I'm going to go with Xavier. Yes, I'm glad to have taken out the time to learn more about our colorful island's history. You've proven enough of an interest in the island to investigate. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Time to get going. Whoa, looks like the clock's all out of whack. Ooh, that's a really pretty picture. you. What can I get ya? Um, give me a zippy friend. You got it. Holy smokes. What can I get ya? Me up some flying breads. You got it. Oh, whoa! Just like Wonka's fizzy lifting drinks. What can I get ya? I'll try a fiery bread. You got it. Goofball, it's very pretty. Whoa! Frogs, pinatas, nose, 
Oh, those are known as statues. Ooh, pinata costume. Bosco's bar car fixing and embroidery. Embroidery. It's Bosco. Bosco, I presume? I'm going to need your thumbprint for Grand's investigation. Bosco bad guy? Yes? Not necessarily, it's just a formality. Okay, try a new joke first, yes? Deal. What thumbs say to you? What? Bosco made up on spot. Sorry, here go. Thank you, Bosco. Crazy Club. That's the place Dr. Wow. Dr. Anagram. Formations. You gotta be crazy enough to get inside. Come back when you look the part. Okay then. You aren't crazy? You've got crazy. The life of the party. Pinata costume, here I come. Come on in. Doctor could be anywhere, any one of here. I'm with you, dinosaur. And other dancers? That's some awesome music. Regular Dan? Been coming here for a long time ever since I was their regular Dan. When did Dr. Blanston get you? Right outside Dusty Crust Bakery. Best gray bread and all the pop dropping. Do you know anything about the doctor? Bobby Bill over there on the dance floor escaped the doctor once. Ooh. You should talk to him. He's a lot. Man, I wish I could dance with you right now. But I've got work to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my dance moves leave most people speechless. What do you mean? I'm investigating the Blanston case. I need info and your thumbprint. You do have thumbs, right? I'll tell you what, if you can match my first dance moves, I'll give you that print. It's on, Bobby Bill. Dance off. Match Bobby Bill's crazy dance moves to get his thumbprint for the case file. The Virus Hunter radio music. I've always wanted to hear this music again.
Okay. Starting to forget stuff. Three one one four one. Better use my fingers. Three one one four one. Holy smoke! After that, Doctor! Blainston is leaving the building. Run after them before they escape. It's Dr. Blainston. Somebody catch them. I'm not sure how useful this is anymore, but who knows? Then we'll go get him. Thanks, Bobby Bill. Dr. Blaston, hand over your weapon. Got your corner. Come down. Easy does it. What? Hey, I know that mustache is the mayor. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But then again, this here. Alright, let's switch it to Detective Graham. Another Blanston? What? Oh no! Bosco, no! Bosco, I'm so sorry. Bosco is doing really rather fine. I haven't felt this loquacious in, well, a lifetime. Worry not, chap. I wrote myself a note should such an occurrence ever come about. It reads, Friend, Bosco give bestest thing you. Here you go. Leaf blower. There's more than one Blanston. I really gotta get the detective Graham now. This game is afoot. Better lose the costume. I'm going to that dreary side of town. Yikes! What happened to my ninja outfit? Activate character costume closet. Yo, all better. Let's go, Mr. Mayor. Hmm. Can't click on the newspaper stand. Okay, off to Dolesville. Yep, my white ninja outfit definitely blends in better this way. Ooh, this is also very picturesque.
really does sound like an old film. Even a silent film. Dusty crust bakery made with grain. Oh, grain. What kind of bread do you have? Gray. Guess I'll try one gray bread, please. Here. This looks hard as a rock. It's supposed to be. Carbs are bad for you. Hard as one of them pirate biscuits, I say. Dollsville Station subway closed. Wow. This really metropolitan area reminds me of the Megatropolis Dream Island I came up with in my comics. Dreary Building established 1909. Room 7. Sleep on guard duty. Sightings of Dr. Blanston have increased exponentially in recent days. City Hall and several people in the area are Blanston's latest victims. Now nearly half of Goofball Island is bland, up to 20% from last year. With so many incidents, some are reporting sightings of gangs of doctors in the streets. Gangs of doctors? Just like the two Dr. Blanstons? Just who is Dr. Blanston? And what is their plan for our fair island? Ooh, those are all really good questions. Hello? I'm looking for Detective Graham. Her office is upstairs, room 7. Thanks! Do I take the elevator or the stairs? I think I'll try both. I want to see what's up there. Out of order. Guess I can't use the elevators. They're out of order. Pete's paper clips. You've got paper. We've got clips. Anagram. Private detective. Huh. The elevator does work? Done. This is taking forever. Oh my gosh, it's one of them slow elevators. Ah, oh, what have I done? Didn't want to go down right away, just wanted to see what's up. Maybe I did. What have we done? This is taking forever. Well, as Devino from Carmen San Diego would say, why must the elevator date back two centuries? Was nobody in a hurry back then? Well, this island was founded 350 years ago. Well, back up the stairs. They made my arm goofy. Did you see anyone on your way up? No, and there's more than one doctor. I got one, the mayor. We're still tight. They couldn't have gotten in or out without a buzz. Yes. Dust and doorknob hit there. It should only have my prints and our perps.
Oh, perpetrator. The doctor is hiding behind whichever door matches those prints. Okay, let's see which ones match. Arch, whorl, loop, double arch. That one. Print identified. Uh, Detective Graham, I see only one set of prints here. She went that away. Looks like your craziness wore off. Let's go after her. Oh my gosh, more red eyes. Wow. What a view. Dreary view. But no time to lose. The subway. So she's a, a Blanston as well. The red eyes and everything. A dull detective gone goofy and a goofy mayor gone dull. What next? Big subway, that's what's next. Whoa, an abandoned dentist place. Journal of Dr. Gramston, DDS. I've gone out of business. The fillings weren't enough. The worst. The work must continue, but this new device will blast sense across the land. I found with the right stone I can recruit an army of minions. Their love for order rivals my own. Unfortunately, the effect wears off. I'll need to find a more permanent fix. Dr. Blanston. Dr. Blanston! The journal of the original Dr. Blanston! Sisters once wielded these stones to keep the island in balance. The, the dragon and the bazaar lived in harmony. We need to find her. A gray crystal. This looks like it could fit into the device I found earlier. Landified device repaired and ready to use. If I need it. She could be anywhere down here. Got any items to help us flush her out of the dark? Ooh, I've got one. A leaf blower. Clean a mess or make a mess. We can dust the whole place with this thing. This is what the ancestors wanted. My machine will change all of Goofball Island. I couldn't do it all by myself. Remember. Is he trying to blast me? Remember. Remember what? Before Detective Graham takes over. 
Why don't you dust that device of yours for Prince? I think you'll find that you belong to only one person. Only one set. Me? The prince? They're the same, but I found this in City Hall when I got here. That's not possible. They must have wiped the prince clean. Think harder. I'm a Dr. Blanston? People sure do strange things on Goofball Island. What will you do if we won't, don't use the machine? People keep becoming Dr. Blanston's. What will I do? You're the dang mayor. I'm winning myself at this very moment. Choose the fate of the island and its people. Balanced, of course. This island is saved? At least there won't be so many Dr. Blanstons running around. On behalf of the people of this island, I bequeath you this medallion. I get it now! The original Dr. Blanston wanted Goofball Island to be all dull. And turn people like me and the mayor and the detective into Dr. Blanston's. He was dull, she was goofy, I was... with amnesia. But we all worked together to make it right. And we saved the day. And all of the original Dr. Blanston's Chaos is back into order. Woohoo! Boss, go better. Tell more joke. How car cost road? How? It drive. Ha ha ha! <laughs> okay, that is pretty funny, Boss. Go. There's gray and color around here now. I like it that way. Mission accomplished. Back to being as hard boiled as ever. I am so relieved to be back to my abnormal self. And most importantly, my hat is back. Yes, that is one fine looking hat. I think I'll try the fry bread one more time. What can I get you? Buy me up some fly and fritz, please. everything back in an orderly fashion in Goofball Island. Dull and colorful once again. Thanks for coming along with me on this adventure. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Till next time. <laughs>